perform an impressive choreography to capture images. To make the main housing, a computer-controlled milling machine cuts precise spaces in a block of aluminum. Then a probe scans it so a computer can verify the shape meets engineering specifications. Next, a variety of computer-guided drills and cutters shape the film gate, the component that holds the film for exposure. A grinding wheel completes this highly precise task. They buff the film gate on a rotating drum infused with diamond powder and a polishing compound. Next, workers apply glue to the film guide, which pushes the film into the film gate. Then they put glue on the film movement, mate the guide and movement, then drive in screws to secure the bond. These two registration pins hold the film in place. Now for the pull-down claws. Workers mount these aluminum devices inside the film movement, one on each side. They move forward and downward as the registration pins retract, dragging the film along the guide. As the claws pull the film down, the pins enter. This exposure repeats at a rate of 150 frames per second. Next, workers screw on a cover to protect the movement's fragile parts. Another cover fits on the other side. Workers then test each of the buttons. Now they attach the camera's drive shaft. The motor drives the movement using a toothed belt. A mechanics test comes next to ensure the claws and pins perform with precision. This part of the camera is the shutter. It sits between the film and the lens. Workers mount a mirror over half the shutter. The mirror reflects the image into the viewfinder when it rotates in behind the lens. A dab of special cleaning fluid yields a pristine surface. Any dirt on the mirror would create a fuzzy image. The protective cover plates will shield existing openings. Here, the shutter and mirror spin in unison. In this model, the shutter is electronic, so it requires a tiny microchip and electrical wires with plugs on the ends. Technicians scrutinize the parts and connections. Then they test the electronics again to ensure everything is working, starting with the shutter. With all the internal components complete, it's time to install them in the camera's housing. The film gate we saw earlier snaps into position. Next, technicians carefully mount the film guide behind the film, then fasten it tightly. Last but not least, the shutter gently slides into position. They close up one side of the housing with a cover to protect the circuit board inside. Workers then lay an accessory controller gently into the camera's side cover. It takes tweezers and a steady hand to insert this focusing screen through the lens mount at the front of the housing. Finally, the lens takes its place front and center. With the camera's structure now complete, workers attach a magazine containing the film. A little nudge here and there leads the film down the right path. The movement swings forward to allow the film to run its course. With the touch of a button, the film successfully races through a mechanical maze.